hot gin. My grandpa had a small stroke in the night, but it's the next morning I'm reading this about him at work. I haven't seen him, not since the wedding in December, the one the 18-year-old groom forgot to invite his family to. It's been years since spending any real time with him. This guilt I let excuse my still not calling. I have to answer when you call, Brian, and you tell me I did a thing, booked a hotel, an extended stay for one night. We'll picnic, we'll sex for as long as we want and not care about it or anything. My grandpa shook my hand. Good to see you, he said. After the newlyweds wove their braids of rope with gods and the bride fell and was carried out red-faced because her dress got the best of her. The audience tried to cover its laughter, coughing, holding its hands over its mouth. You can't believe in being without an ice bucket and the ice trays empty. There should be no such thing as hot gin. No, what you can't believe in is this night, how out of these plans you made, already things are awry. I go looking for the ice machine, and I can only find the laundry. A mother in the middle of folding, changing her baby's diaper on top of a dryer. We took pictures as a family on stage, two cameras flashing simultaneously and no one knowing which to look at except Grandpa, who looked to the back of the church, to nowhere, into nothing, or himself, his blindness. We finished. Everyone left for cake and punch gossip. Grandpa held onto my shoulder to get down. I told him three steps. This is the first one. His face didn't redden. He'd been without long enough. Every humiliation wasn't. We get Chinese from Fu Lin, which is not a favorite, but is comfort, is full of soft pink and kitsch, except they remodeled what was outdated, the 80s aesthetic, or what I mean is the reason we came here is gone and we are the only ones here. The TV's off, but Cinemax is channel 15 if you're into softcore and lonely and it's Thursday. My fingers catch in the cigarette burns in the blanket. You ask how I am, and then you ask how I am again to make sure my truths don't change. The room smells of good gin, leftovers, after sex. I say, I like the way it smells in here. The room costs $35, but they charge you $100 until they have proof the room you lived in isn't a wrecked room, that you didn't steal every stick of it. You put back on your shirt and the buttons are not aligned, but I like that about you. You ask me if I'd like to stay here and rest, be alone. You know taking care of me means some blurred line of you giving space and not giving space. I listen back to myself at the wedding, three steps. This is the first one. I have come to realize I was talking to myself then, learning how it is to need someone for what's called simple, walking downstairs, learning how it is to look where no one else sees.